Thank you for checking out our project. My name is Kikani Katija, and I'm excited to share with you FathomNet, exploring our ocean using artificial intelligence. This is a project that involves a number of individuals from NOAA, National Geographic Society, Sea Vision AI, MIT Media Lab, as well as Mbari. Um, and also funding has been graciously provided by the National Geographic Society, NOAA, as well as National Science Foundation. This project really centers around one question. How do we explore a realm as vast and ever-changing as the ocean? With the advent of modern robotics, persistent and distributed observations of processes and life in our ocean are now on the horizon. Implementing artificial intelligence, or AI, has been touted as a crucial pathway to enable rapid processing of ocean data. And this is really required in order for us to be able to scale our observations to the entire ocean. Adoption of AI in the ocean is limited though by the availability of curated data, particularly underwater imagery and video in order to train these algorithms. And so our ocean shot is to use AI to automate processing of underwater imagery and video to fully explore and discover our ocean and really in, to realize a vision of ocean exploration and discovery that involves the use of distributed observation platforms conducting measurements at unprecedented spatio-temporal scales. Now, artificial intelligence can help, but in order to train algorithms that can automate the detection and classification of concepts in underwater imagery, we really need labeled data. Labeled data requires localization or bounding boxes and identification or annotation of concepts in every training image. But the bottleneck for deploying AI in the ocean is the availability of labeled data, which FathomNet seeks to address. And we're able to do this by first leveraging uh, existing data, like Ambari's video annotation and reference system, which is a 30-year annotated database from ROV collected video. And if you do a search for a concept like Aegina in the VARS database, you can return a number of images like the two images that you see here on just on the left, uh, where the top image shows Aegina um, clearly as the only object or concept in the image, whereas the image below that shows Aegina with a number of other um, objects. And so while some underwater image data may contain annotations with concept names, in more cluttered fields like the image on the bottom, the locations of all concepts within an image are critical for training machine learning algorithms. And so our solution then is FathomNet, which is a publicly available database for training machine learning algorithms on underwater imagery. And by leveraging existing data and providing a repository for new data, we will construct a global data set that can be used to train algorithms for rapid and widespread exploration and discovery of our ocean. To date, FathomNet contains 771 concepts and more than 117,000 localizations from Ambari's video annotation and reference system, with additional contributions from NOAA, National Geographic Society, and other partners planned in 2021. Training AI algorithms on FathomNet data have yielded promising results that can be used to achieve our ocean shot. Now FathomNet can be found at www.fathomnet.org and the website will be released in the next few months. And users can either search for concepts from the website directly or by using an API. Uh, data exploration involves the use of concept trees, geographic locations, or a number of other filters. And contributions can also be verified by ex experts. There are also additional annotation tools that can enable users to augment existing data or make modifications to data that they contribute to the database. And algorithms trained on FathomNet have been used to detect and classify animals observed by numerous deep sea robotic systems at Ambari, NOAA, and NGS. And the videos that you see on the bottom are examples of footage that have had machine learning algorithms applied to them collected by these different robotic platforms, including NOAA's ROV Deep Discoverer, uh, National Geographic Society's Deep Sea Camera System, 
Embari's mini ROV platform, and finally, Embari's I2 map autonomous underwater vehicle that is specifically designed for midwater transects. And if you want to learn more about these applications, feel free to use the QR codes on each of the videos to find out a little bit more information. And we're very, very excited about the potential that FathomNet could have to finally address and uh, achieve our ocean shot. Uh, we are grateful for the funding support that we've received through NOAA, uh, NGS, as well as NSF OTIC, and as well as the David and Lucille Packard Foundation. We're also indebted to many, many individuals who have contributed to this project. So if you have any questions or concerns, please contact myself or Katie Croft-Bell, whose contact information I've also included here. Thank you very much for your time.